Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. CNN anchor rips Obama on indictments. Perhaps the Obama administration was at least to a degree asleep at the switch. This is something you don't see every day. On Friday, fake news CNN's Jake Tapper actually said on national TV that the Obama administration was asleep at the switch as Russian hacking attempts were happening during the 2016 presidential election and they did nothing about it. Here is more on this incredible admission via The Daily Caller. CNN's Jake Tapper on Friday characterized the Obama administration as being asleep at the switch on Russian hacking attempts during the 2016 presidential election. I have to say, and it's unfair I suppose to hold you responsible for the entire Obama administration, but you read this indictment and you think, boy, the Obama administration, they really kind of missed the ball on this, Tapper told former Obama administration National Security Council official and current CNN analyst Samantha Vinograd. I mean, yes, they issued that report, but President Obama said, he told Putin to cut it out or knock it off, it wasn't particularly strong, and then there was all this hesitation about warning the American people for fear of looking partisan," continued Tapper. In retrospect, doesn't it seem to you that perhaps the Obama administration was at least to a degree asleep at the switch? Before her explanation, Vinograd noted that she was gone when this happened. Well, I'm not here to be an apologist for the Obama administration, she replied. I was gone when this happened. Not one president, whether it be Obama or President Trump, has figured out how to deter Vladimir Putin," added Vinograd. It's great to finally see someone from the fake news mainstream media waking up and calling it like it is. But is this just a one-time fluke? Or is the media finally starting to realize their war against President Trump is fruitless and they have decided to give in to who the American people elected to be our president? Only time will tell, but personally, I am chalking this up to a one-time moment of weakness from the left-stream media machine. But the deep state continues to waste millions of our hard-earned dollars in an effort to take down President Trump while Obama and his administration danced with the devil as he proved his ineptitude many times over. And even worse, the Obama administration wiretapped a private citizen, Donald Trump, instead of going after the people who are really trying to meddle in our elections. Here is more on this via CNS News. According to the U.S. Senate Permanent Subcommittee on Investigations PSI, the State Department gave $349,276 in U.S. taxpayer-funded grants to a political group in Israel to build a campaign operation, which subsequently was used to try to influence Israelis to vote against conservative Benjamin Netanyahu in the March 2015 election for prime minister. In the Permanent Subcommittee on Investigations report about the State Department's action, Chairman Bob Portman, Republican Ohio, said, it is completely unacceptable that U.S. taxpayer dollars were used to build a political campaign infrastructure that was deployed, immediately after the grant ended, against the leader, Netanyahu, of our closest ally in the Middle East. American resources should be used to help our allies in the region, not undermine them. The State Department ignored warning signs and funded a politically active group in a politically sensitive environment with inadequate safeguards, said Portman in a July 12, 2016 press release. The State Department had funded a series of grants in 2013 to 2014, totaling $349,276, which went to the One Voice movement, which has Israeli and Palestinian branches, One Voice Israel and One Voice Palestine. The grant period ended in November 2014. These groups support peace negotiations between Israel and Palestine, and a two state solution based on the borders of 1967. The subcommittee's report says, on December 2, 2014, at the urging of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, the Israeli Knesset voted to schedule new national parliamentary elections for March 2015. Within weeks, an international organization known as the One Voice Movement absorbed and funded an Israeli group named Victory 15 or V15 and launched a multi-million dollar grassroots campaign in Israel. The campaign's goal was to elect anybody but Bibi, Netanyahu, by mobilizing center-left voters. The subcommittee found no evidence that One Voice spent grant funds to influence the 2015 Israeli elections. Soon after the grant period ended, November 2014, however, One Voice used the campaign infrastructure and resources built, in part, with State Department grants funds to support V15. Emphasis added. In service of V15, One Voice deployed its social media platform, which more than doubled during the State Department grant period, used its database of voter contact information including email addresses, which OV expanded during the grant period, and enlisted its network of trained activists, 
many of whom were recruited or trained under the grant, to support and recruit for V-15. How could Obama go after the Russians since he himself spent U.S. taxpayer dollars trying to beat Benjamin Netanyahu in the Israeli elections? Why aren't we investigating Barack Hussein Obama on that fact alone will always be a mystery but my guess is that it has something to do with the fact that leftists own the narrative so they are untouchable. And not to mention the fact that Obama has dark skin, because we all know whatever disagreement we had with Obama during his presidency was never because of policy and beliefs, it was because we Americans are racists. We know the drill. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.